Welcome to this episode of Ask the Guitar Coach, the only podcast where you get answers to all your guitar-related questions. If you're interested in developing your guitar skills and reaching your music goals, please send me an email at the email address ioannis at ioannis.org. That is I-O-A-N-N-I-S at I-O-A-N-N-I-S dot org so that I can let you know about all the different packages of Elite Guitar Coaching and how you can get private coaching by me. Without further ado, let's go to our question for the day. Is it necessary for my guitar coach to be an active gigging guitarist? So here's a good question and something I have um, been asked many times during my teaching career and mostly from different students who say that uh, they find their teachers and their coaches by watching people play live around their city and uh, they start, uh, they approach them for lessons. So let's see if that's really the best way to do things and if it's really um, essential for a guitar coach, for a guitar teacher to be an active and even a really good gigging guitar. Now, it's very important to understand that the same way that an athlete has phases in his uh, life in his, as an athlete, the same thing goes for a musician. So, for example, when I was really young, I was doing way, way more gigging and playing live than I was doing teaching. Then, getting more older or more mature, I started phasing more into more teaching and less gigging. However, this doesn't mean that there is no... Uh, you don't play anymore, but usually playing live is kind of a younger man game. So basically, just like a top basketball player that became a coach when he was later on in life, when he was more mature, more older, the same way go, can go for a musician. It's not necessary that it happens like that. We have several musicians who are playing live and they're gigging regularly in their 60s and 70s. However, this is not essential. The question is if it is necessary. Uh, somebody might decide to concentrate on teaching more. Some other people might decide to concentrate on recording and become studio players. It's not essential, it's not necessary to be an active gigging guitarist. However, if someone has stopped playing live or has really phased out his live performances, it doesn't mean that he is not able to securely play and demonstrate all kinds of different music and guitar concepts. A guitar teacher, a guitar coach should be very, very good at demonstrating any kind of thing he wants to teach his students. It cannot just happen through just a, a random, vague description. It has to be very much hands-on and be able to play the things that he's trying to teach. So to clarify, if someone is working as a professional guitar coach, it's not necessary that he is also a gigging guitarist. Let's not forget that playing live with a band has some demands on time, that means rehearsals, that also means memorizing tunes, different tunes, and also playing late at night in the different gigs. That someone who has, either has another job or is also teaching several hours per day might not be willing to do it. Now, I know this for a fact because this is the case with me. I say, I say no to most gigging suggestions because I would have to have a lot of rehearsals and learn a bunch of tunes and then just play a couple of performances and it's not worth my time, I feel. Personally, once again, this is a personal opinion, okay? That my time is better going to be invested if I like record this video or if I record a new song for my next CD or if I write my next book. So there you have it. Is it necessary? No. Is it essential? Absolutely not. Is it a good idea to be able to see your, um, your teacher, your, your future teacher or future coach play live? Yes, it would be really nice. But if he has been doing his uh, due diligence, then I'm sure he will have a lot of videos on YouTube or in other platforms where you can hear him and listen to him play and make up your mind if you'd like to work with him or not. So there you have it. 
I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the next episode of Ask the Guitar Coach. Until then, keep on shredding and keep those questions coming. Bye-bye.